What's up people, this is the second part of the React component library using the GitHub registry, um, package registry. In our last video, we just installed these three Babel um, plugins. What we're gonna do is bring everything now from here into the dev dependency because our actual package doesn't have any dependencies. Um, these are all in eight of developing the package. So I'll put them in here, um, save, and we're almost done. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm not sure. We're, um, yeah, we're, we're almost done with the package JSON stuff. So let's create some npm scripts, and I'm going to explain them as I write them. So the first one we're going to do is going to create a script to prepare the build to prepare the npm build. We'll obviously call that prepare build. And what this will do is we're going to run a command we haven't yet made, but we will called clean. So npm run clean, which will clean our distribution folder. Um, we're going to do that in production mode, so we'll tell node to run in production, um, check in the spelling, and what we're going to do is run the babel command on everything in the lib folder. And we're going to get the compiled output of that and put it in a folder called distribution, so dist, um, and we're going to make sure that we handle all the extensions that are .ts and .tsx. If you're writing normal JavaScript code, of course you don't need to write this because it will take care of it by default. And the next bit is optional. So if you have any text test files or any documentation files you want to ignore, um, you can do it this way. So this will be lib uh, slash everything that has a .test.js extension or .tsx, whatever. Cool. So now let's, let's actually make the clean command up here. And what this is going to do is it's going to remove everything that is inside the dist distribution, so dist folder. Um, and this is good to keep everything clean. We don't want to overwrite each time we run this command what was in this folder before. Cool. So now that we have done that, we're going to have another command called copy. And what this is going to do is it's going to copy every, sorry, sorry copy the package JSON, two files, package JSON, and our um, into the, into the this folder and copy our readme markdown file also into the dist folder and this is needed because packages need um, to have a package JSON and a readme for them to for them to work. Finally we're gonna have a build command which will oh we already have a build here. Um, let's just get rid of this one. We don't need this. So the build command is going to um, run the prepare build as well as run the copy as well. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So now, one more thing we have to add, we need to make a um, um, Babel RC file and we need to put our, um, what do you call it? Put our packages, put our pre presets in there. You can actually do that in the package JSON, but I'm not going to. So what this will have is um, the presets. And guys, please bear in mind, I don't memorize all this stuff. I've got notes written down. Um, I'm not an amazing program. So at Babel, I make spelling mistakes all the time. Presets and and. Babel preset react. If you miss any of these out, um, the package won't work because they need to be pure JavaScript, not JS and React, um, but just pure JS for the package to work. Type script, checking spelling. And if we do have anything we want to ignore, we put that here. So that will look like this. And we'd get rid of all our test JS. So this will be ignored. Inside the, inside the Babel config, so the Babel won't look into these files. So I think that's everything. Let's see if that worked. So npm run build. Fingers crossed. We have an error. <laughs> okay. So this should be clean, not clear. All right. Let's try that again. Okay. 
Okay, we have our distribution folder here, uh, and inside it we have a package.json in our readme, but we don't have our code, which is inside here. So let's have a look. Okay, it looks like the issue I had was I had I didn't hadn't escaped the quotation marks. I had single um, quotation marks instead of double, which is what you need. And I didn't escape it, so this is what it needs to look like. And when I run npm run build, it should all work fine. Um, and create a new distribution folder, which is what it's going to do in about five seconds, with the correct compiled JS files when it's finished. So you can see this button in JS and index in JS. There's no React code in here, it's just pure JavaScript. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to CD into the distribution folder. And we're going to run the final command, which is to run npm publish. Okay. The reason we go into the disk folder is because npm publish is going to pack this into a, a zip and then it's going to pack everything that's inside this folder, not any of the stuff. Okay, so one error or two errors I forgot to make. First thing to do, this is currently private. Uh, let's make it not private. So let's get rid of this line. And another thing I forgot to do was to add a main flag or main option, so which will tell the package which is the correct um, file to use as the main one. I think it's written like this index.js. Okay. Okay, so what I forgot to do is to name the package. So if I run npm scope and then give it a name, so let's just call it uh, rich, or locus Richard gray so um, this is going to scope it to to this um, I think I should have done it inside the um, let's, sorry I should have done that inside here not distribution folder so let's do it here again do that make sure everything is fine as default cool so now if I do um, npm um, build again Basically, what this is going to do is scope the package JSON to a company. So I've done it as Richard Bray. Um, and now, if I go back into the distribution folder and then npm publish, fingers crossed, we should have this published. And now, if I go into here and then hit refresh, there you have it. This is our package we just created. Um, it took a while, but we got there in the end. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to apply it to your own project. Thanks for watching. As usual, like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more notifications on these sorts of videos. Thank you. Bye.